Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. A lot of you ask me a lot of questions, for example, regarding rendering, regarding modeling in SOLIDWORKS and modeling phones. How do I ac accurately model phones and how do I get all the dimensions? When I say phone dimensions, I don't mean like this base dimension that, that you can find on official websites or pretty much everywhere. Your questions are like, how do I get this notch width? How do I get this uh, fillet here, the bezel size and everything? So this is the answer to those questions. And in the video I'm gonna be using Mate 20 Lite as a model. Also, I have made tutorial for this phone, just so you know, you can find it in my channel. So, for a start, what I always do, except for taking these base dimensions, is taking images from the internet, of course, <laughs> of these phones. Here is the back, for example, and I always need, like, back and the front. Sometimes, if a phone is tricky, I can take the side, but pretty much never and we go to SOLIDWORKS and we are gonna draw for a start rectangle that is gonna have dimensions of the phone so height is 158.3 you don't have to draw this I'm just explaining but if you want you can and I can take uh, sketch tools sketch picture and take for example back of the phone now pay attention these images images are sometimes not perfectly accurate sometimes I don't crop these images in Photoshop well so you can see this image is cropped uh, fully to the bezel like not perfectly but I don't need it to be perfect in order to draw the phone accurately so Enable scale tool and lock aspect ratio. Okay, so disable these two. The height of the phone is 158.3, like we said, and width 75.3. We have to put it in the center, so 158.3 by 2 and put minus. No, this is. This should be here actually, minus 79.15 and here we should have 75.3 by 2 in minus. Okay, now the image is fully centered and this is pretty much the work done. You, ju you can just take now cycle and see here like this metal ring, you can see this uh, size of the f of the glass don't trust images too much because like I said setting these images it's not always accurate but it's pretty much very very close also I have some experience in designing these phones sometimes I measure the phone that I have in my hands uh, so I can say for example if my Huawei P9 is having front camera around 2 millimeters then I guess that front camera on Mate 20 Lite is also somewhere around 2 millimeters for example if, if I have some doubts like that one as you can see here you can't see the lens well you can't you can see these details very well I can't really guess what's written here in the image because images are not sometimes like having a lot of quality so you can go to I think you have like in your country the carriers who sell these phones and sometimes you can find this 3D view of the phone you can just zoom in and see like you can say okay this top uh, lens is smaller than this one you can also see a lot of details that you might not be able to see in official images. For example, what I always look is trying to see this profile of the metal frame. I call it bezel, but you can call it the, however you want. You can see how it looks, how the curve is looking like. You can see here sort of uh, how big is this black um, 
display display uh, frame you can see antenna very clearly you can s check these uh, glass back curve on the sides also looking from this view so yeah it's not really hard to guess and find dimensions for the phone you just have to be uh, willing to spend time googling images and some other content such as this one sometimes also for the front cameras and details on these notches notches <laughs> on the notch that is that is most likely to disappear not from the Apple devices of course so you can see here I wouldn't be able to see that there is a sensor here and for example I can't see sensor on this side so that's uh, useful information I can see that this fillet is way bigger than this one and many many other things so that's how I find dimensions for the phone and yeah I, I'm not saying that my uh, models are perfectly accurate but they are very like close to original which is of course the goal so I hope this video helped you if you have some more questions um, call the customer service <laughs>